Nemso Indian Defense, Hubner Variation, 5.BD3 and C66.NE2. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. c5 attacks the d4 pawn defends the bishop on b4 and prepares to develop the knight to c6 behind the c-pawn. bd3 develops the bishop to an active diagonal that controls the center and attacks h7. And c6 develops the knight toward the center, supports the bishop on b4 and attacks the pawn on d4. And e2 develops the knight toward the center, supports the knight on c3 and prepares castling. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. It is the last book move. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. This exchange is fair. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is best. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This ignores a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That's a decent move. That's good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This overlooks a better way to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. That's good. This protects a rook that was being attacked without any defense. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This stops the opponent from being able to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is good. That's fine. It is good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. That's good. 
This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Castling could be prevented by this. It is incorrect. This overlooks an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This permits the opponent to prevent castling. It is a mistake. This move makes it so the opponent cannot castle, inhibiting their development. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This wins a tempo on a queen while while developing a piece. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This misses a chance to win a pawn. It falls flat. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to block a check from the opposing rook. It is a miss. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This leads to losing a rook. This permits the opponent to create an x-ray attack through two pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This creates an x-ray attack through two of the opponent's pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only good move. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is a great move. This captures a rook and eliminates a threat. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This ignores a more effective approach to sidestep the opposing queen's check. It is incorrect. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This leads to losing material. There was only one good move in that position. It is a blunder. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. This misses a chance to obtain a winning position. It is a miss. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is ideal. This leads to losing a pawn. This threatens to win a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to gain a pawn. It is incorrect. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This forks multiple pieces. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This evades the check from the queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rook is now in a safe position. That's good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This is the only move that works. It is best. This misses a better way to reveal a check. It is an inaccuracy. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is quite good. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the queen's check. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. 
it is ideal. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It's compelled. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.